Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to work with a form request. So if I go in the VS Code and let's open the post controller. Now uh, here we have the store method and let's clean this uh, method a little bit. We have a bunch of code here. The create and the index is much cleaner. So first I'm going to remove all the commented lines. Second, here in the request validated, I'm going to create a, a new variable. I'm going to say the validated data to be with the request validate. Okay. And with that now, we can say here just post create sorry post model and call the create static method and inside here now we just can add the validated data okay with that now we can remove all the code down there and we have more cleaner method if I save and also if you go to the Laravel documentation in the mass assignment, here we have an example with flight and create. Here we have the name and the, the array with key value pairs, but because we have the key value pairs here, so we, it's not necessary to add it also in here. And let's go and See here, we said uh, before using the create method, you will need to specify either a fillable or guarded property on your, on your model class. So we need to add in the model class the product at fillable and the fields for our uh, model. So let's go in our model, post model. And here I'm going to copy what we have just for quick access and paste it inside here. Now we say in here protected the fillable and we need to protect the protect the title and the body. The body and also I'm going to add the is published. Now all the the three fields here is going to be is going to allow for mass assignment. Okay, now with that if we go and create a new post, so let's say new post, let's create new post, type something here, let's say create. We say the post created successfully, and here we have the new post. Okay, now that is more cleaner, but is another way to have more cleaner method by creating a custom request. So let's open the terminal, and I'm going to say PHP artisan make request, and I'm going to name it this post store request hit enter okay now let's open that post store request and here first we need to authorize this request so let's say true and in here now in, in the rules we need to add the rules so let's go in the post controller and let's copy the rules here we have the same thing key-value pair in here as well. So in return an array with key-value pairs. So title is going to be required minimum of three characters. And I'm going to remove this max 10 characters. And the body, I'm going to leave it as it is. Let's save it. And now in the controller, instead of adding the default request from the Laravel, I'm going to add the post store request okay so now we injected the 
custom request here we have validation so it's not necessary to create validated data here for that we need to remove and now we need the validated data to have the validated data we need to call the request and the method validated this validated method is going to return to us the title and the body and if i save and go and create a new post first let's check for validation if i say create we have the title field is required and the body field is required let's type something here just two characters we have the title must be at least three characters and now let's create something okay create and now the post created successfully and we have down there and of course we have more cleaner method just one line of code okay friends so let's save it here is the custom request for us and that's it about this video how we can create the request and clean the method in our controller for more you go and check the laravel documentation hope you enjoy friends if you like like the video and subscribe to my channel for more laravel videos see you in the next one all the best